Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any or all help the channel grow and they help get this out in front of other people. Now, in our last episode, we, <coughs> excuse me, worked on our water supply down there to get that up to our blenders uh, and we also put down our refineries up here to start with our heavy oil residue and produce our plastic and rubber and we've got I think nine of them up here uh, and we need 60 of them and I came to the realization last episode that I'm, I don't have room up here and I can either go up or I can go out and I did consider trying to resolve this a little bit off camera and then sort of showing you the finished product so you didn't have to sit and watch all of it. And then I thought, actually, no. That's probably what you guys are here to, to watch. See me figure out how to problem solve this. But, in short, all of this needs to go. Which is a bit upsetting. Uh, but, I mean, hey, it was blueprinted. So it won't take us too long to put back together. But what I want to do is... I think I'm going to have to have six banks of ten broken into three sets of 20 uh, because I need them in three sets because we've got the three oil pipes coming in uh, so yeah we need to do do that part of it um, but it's then yeah like I say the rest of it that we need to get sorted out so I want to figure out the spacings for that because I definitely think we're going to have to extend this top floor out because I'd really rather not have to go up uh, I don't like how I'm leaving boxes everywhere because I've just you know filled up my inventory oh that's horrid right okay take all that down take down that pipe and you okay right now then let's Let's plug our gap, shall we? And then... I'm going to talk through what I want to do, because I want to get all six rows of those refineries on this floor here. Uh, it does mean we're going to have to make this floor bigger, but I think that's going to make it structurally uh, a more interesting building to look at when we get it all straightened out. So... Have I got all the holes plugged? No, one left. Okay, so we've got, how many foundations wide are we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that means we should have 8 each. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Which means if I stand here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So this is the halfway point, right here, this line here. So I'm going to put, well, actually, I, yeah, it's in line there. Okay, so we've got our halfway point, that's fine. Kind of want to shuffle those a long one now, but oh well. Uh, so if we look at our blueprints, and we go, okay. So here is our halfway line exactly where we're on uh, and I can put that there so we've got this oil pipe that funds it completely in the halfway line okay so that's the plan for that what that then means is this would then be reversed Whoop. so effectively what I want to do is measure this out so then I can go right. That's one bank of 20. Whoop. And then I can do that. Because that should give me enough room for all the pipes and hopefully the logistics there. We then need to bring this out. That away. Okay. And I'm going to say there to give me enough room for that. So I want to put that out there. So how many, 
how many uh, oh, foundations have we just added there? One, two, three. So we've just added four extra foundations to that side. Okay. Come on. So we can come and hopefully add four to this side. I don't know if that's going to be enough, actually. Let's have a look, though. One, two, three, four. Okay. Which then means I can grab this refinery. And you're going to go that way round. Uh, sure, I can make that work. Yeah. I'm just thinking with the logistics. Yeah, okay. And then you're going to go somewhere along here on this road. Is that going to give me enough room to work with? Definitely that side and that side. Okay, so that is going to be our width. So then we've got one, two, three, four, five. So that is definitely our six banks. Okay, so now we just need to make them. Right, okay, come on. Let's just give me some power to play with here. Right, you in there. And you. I don't know. Let's put you there for the moment and then we can play with the power later. Okay. So then I can grab those blueprints. Uh, and we can line that up. There we go. Right, so that's six. Yeah, three, six. Wah. Okay. And you... Come on, you're meant to be on blueprint mode. Why are you not clipping to the extra blueprint? Okay, so that's nine. <clears throat> okay. And then we will again hook you there. Which gives me some flight. And you will go there. Okay. So the ones on this side... <clears throat> I don't know I'm going to be able to blueprint them in the same way because uh, hang on yeah because I need to basically merge them so these are going to run out so that's two, three four five six seven Nine. Why is this blueprint not lined up? Yeah, this blueprint didn't line up. Oh. Why did that happen? Right, let's clear that. Come on. Okay. And then we'll just have to try and line that up again. Right. Refinery solid out. Come on. There we go. That's now lined up. <clears throat> okay. Then we can grab some of the... Oh, yeah. Do you guys ever find this occasionally? <clears throat> so you know you can middle click to grab the pipe. For whatever reason, it's not working for me today. Hang on. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, for... I'm not having much luck with these blueprints.
Blimey. Come on. Right, okay. How about we do third time lucky? Hmm? Right, blueprints. Right, okay. Now, will you line up? That looks like it. Okay. That looks definitely more like it. There we go. And then we can hook you up there. Hook the power up. Okay. So that is now a bank of nine. Which means we need to add one more on to the end. That shouldn't be too bad. There we go. The middle clicks decided to wake up again and work. Okay. We can grab you. And we can. There we go. That's our set of ten. Okay. There we go. So, yeah, like I say, that is one of our sets of ten. Maybe I could have gone further out. But either way, I think this is going to give us some more... Wow, that's... Maybe we really could have gone further out. Oh, well. I'm not going to test it now. Right, okay, so. Then we want to try and plumb these guys in. So, plumbing them in on the heavy oil residue, which is fine. But, part of this means I'm not going to be joining them onto the belt. Because what I want to do with all of these is I'm going to be splitting them 50-50 rubber and plastic. So, if I say this side is rubber, this side is going to be plastic. So, it's going to need its own uh, basically, um, yeah, it's going to need its own conveyor belt to work through. And then I'll join all the plastics and all the rubbers from the three banks, which will massively updo our, uh, yeah, processing. Because at the moment we are not making enough. Okay, so. If I just upgrade all these to power twos. I can then just run them opposite. You're meant to be a power two, thank you. And there we go. Uh, ah, this is the end of the line. So, come on. No auto save. There we go. So, you're going there. You're then going... Oh, okay, you've already got one. Oh, if you've already got one, I don't need that power line there at all. Because you can cover that one. Okay. Alright, well, there's one bank of ten sorted. Right, and then we've got to extend the foundations out. And then we can figure out what we're going to do with this space over here. Okay, either way. This side. Right, grab you. Uh, 
Okay, you're gonna play. You're gonna be a pain like that because I need to plumb this side in with its pipes. Right. But let's deal with the customizer. We want the black because we're doing oil pipes at the moment. And then I want to put that there because I should then hopefully. Well, actually. I, because I've got the blueprint for this side, I need to try and make sure I've got the blueprint lined up with... And that hand is right in the way. Right, now I'm going to need power over here because I need the height. Right. Give me the blueprint. And then I really need that hand out of the way. Let's try and do it from the one behind. I think it's that. Nope. Okay. Come on. All right, take all that down. Oh. Right, let's take two. Can I get directly up? I can. So I think it should be then there. Yeah, that does it. Nice. Cool. And then we can plumb the oil into these guys. Right, excellent. And then we should be able to. Oh, hang on. Let's plug that hole there. Right. Refinery. Yeah, I know. I know. So that should then go there. Oh, and then I'm out of... Ah, plastic. Okay, that's fine. We can go grab some more plastic. Because I have been having the oil trains that are going to pick up from here. I've been having them deliver plastic and rubber uh, to the stations that they're going to be picking it up from in future. Just so I've got that as a handy resource all over the place. So there we go. Grab some plastic. I'll grab a little bit more. Right, okay. Yeah, and then we're going to have to do something with that overhang. Because I think that's going to make it architecturally a little bit more interesting. Having that kind of overhang. But it does mean we're going to have a lot of space at the back that we can play with as well. Uh, right, come on. Now we can start climbing back up. I'm really looking forward to turning this building on. I think it's going to be cool just to watch everything tick through because I've never built something this big and complex before right okay oh you guys are going to need your uh, things aren't you your mergers right okay blueprints okay and then I want that way There we go. Beautiful. That's looking all lined up. And then we want a refinery. Just for that last one. Cool. 
Perfect. And then that's all lined up like that. Cool. Right, okay. So now we can plumb these bits in. I mean, by the time it gets to the end, there it doesn't need to be a 600 pipe, but I'd rather just keep the spine intact. So that is that bank done. So how are we looking? That is okay. So that's this half pretty much done. I know I need to do the outputs on whoop this side. Okay, that's fine. So those two are sharing an oil, these two are sharing an oil, although this one needs doing. Okay, let's get you straightened out then. That's because those boxes are there. Right, in which case we're going to have to do a little bit of tidy up along this line. Okay. Right, I, yeah, I'll tidy up this bit. Okay, right, and then we can... Yeah, two, three, four, five... Get these guys out. Coolio. Right, and then we're actually repeating this bit for the oil distribution. Right, okay. So, I'm still going to want a name for all this building from you guys uh, looking to you guys to start naming some of the builds at the moment so yeah throw them in the comments do let me know what you think this should be called where we get it going so I mean I could yeah missing pipes so I can't do that that's also going to be interesting because I've got to try and Yeah, because it lines up beautifully with this one. But I'm not going to cross it over. Um, and I, re do I, I really don't want to have to move all the oil stuff below. Yeah, I really don't want to shuffle them over one. But that's a shame. Right, okay. So, these are the outputs. So, you... Actually, are you going to let me line a blueprint up off... Oh, I'm going to need the iron plates. Okay, I need the iron plates anyway. Right, down we go. Right, sort. And I'm out of iron plates. Oh, blast. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to have to finish that bit off off camera then because I'm not going to make you sit and watch me do all of that but what we can do in the meantime then is we can have a look at what we're going to do with this architecture so what I'm kind of thinking with it is if we look at the foundations I'm thinking of using one of these like inverted concrete ones like that And then we can do an we want inverted up corner like that because then I'll have or will I? Hmm. 
No, this side's going to be more slab-faced, isn't it? So, that's probably not the right thing there. It probably would just stay being an inverted ramp. Like that. Because then when the wall comes over, the wall will... Yeah, the wall would wind up being an inverted ramp wall like that. Yeah. But I'm also thinking of doing something with... So I can't use those, because these windows don't tilt. What do I have here for fix-it walls? Because I've got tilted walls, but I kind of want like a tilted window. Uh, I don't have any there. Frame wall, that's not quite what I want. Yeah, I was really hoping I could use like some kind of tilted window. What about actually? It's not a window. Could I use a glass roof in a weird way? Uh, oh, I need the silica for it. Okay, any of that in my random container down here? Yes, right. Let's have a look. Can I do that? Because I kind of want a nice big open slanted window like that. Because I think that would be quite cool and interesting to look at. Right, so... Inverted roof. That looks like it will work. Although that looks... Mm, not sure that's going to be the steepest I'm going to get isn't it because those are going to tilt the other way I'd almost like I'd almost need like a roof 8 meters so I think I'm going to have to make do with this but I'm thinking like that as a glass window to look out on I'm thinking that would be quite cool. And then we could put some lights up there and then you'll be able to see it quite cool when you're like when it's coming in on the train. So yeah, I'm thinking like that. And then we can what lights have we got to play with? So it's gonna be either a ceiling mat light. Oh, we're not gonna be able to put a wall light on there. Yeah, wall lights have to go on those foundations. So it'd have to be some ceiling lights. But I think we could do that. Just ran it along here for a bit. save if we grab a power pole and we just I don't know run that up on the ceiling for a moment and then daisy chain those how does that look over from the train station I know it's not night time but let's go have a quick look see how that's looking alley whoop I love how you can toss yourself out like that Yeah, that's a bit different. I think maybe some supports, and we'll have to do some stuff on the um, walls below. But I think that definitely gives it an interesting kind of shape. I am tempted as well, though, to see whether I can do anything with that corner. But considering we're going to have it slab-faced because of the pipes, I don't know that we can. Hmm. Something to have a think about. Um, but either way, I think I'm going to start 
wrapping up up here because I need to go back and get those iron plates to finish putting all those refineries in. Um, so as usual, likes, comments, subscriptions, they really help the channel grow and they help get it out in front of other people. So thank you very much to those of you that do that. It has really been making a difference recently. Um, we've had a, a bit of an increase, so thank you very much. And welcome to everyone new that's in. Uh, I do hope you have enjoyed the episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll have a great day and I will catch you all next time.